Hi everyone, and welcome back. This past week, Steve and I spent between home base and our off-grid property. But first thing is first, I wanted to fill everyone in on Lenny and how he's doing, and he is doing amazing. Every day he is settling in more and more, and I just love the little guy to bits. Poor Hannah. Poor Hannah. Hannah used to love these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just can't chew it anymore. Okay, okay. Poor Hannah. Right, Hannah's, Hannah's declining. Poor Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Walking stick. <laughs> Your shirt is looking awfully dirty. Hi, Lenny. What do you think of this little walk, Lenny? We're in an old growth forest. Big trees. Hey, Clyde. Good boy, Len. Come on, Lenny. Come on. Oh, no, no, it's okay. He did the first section. Good boy. Good boy. He's doing the stairs for the first time. Come on, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Lenny. This is what's going on up here, Lenny. Lenny. There. Hi, Lenny. You did it, Lenny. Oh, it's okay. Hi, Lenny. It's okay. Hi. Don't be afraid. Let's take this off. Let's just take this off. Come on, Lenny. It's not so scary. There's Hannah. There's Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Hannah. It's your mom's birthday, everybody. It's your mom's birthday. Mommy's birthday. Hi, Bear. Hi, Clyde. Hi, Clyde. We gotta get some birthday kisses in. Oh. Hi, little Lenny. There's Hannah. Oh, yeah. Are you proud of yourself? Look at how cute mm. you are. It's my birthday and we'll bike if I want to. Bike if I want to. Bike if I want to. I also had a birthday this past week, so I guess that means that on paper I am one year older. It was a pretty relaxing day, to be honest, with the morning bike ride and walks with the puppies. I have a fairly strict no gift policy for my birthdays and holidays, unless it's a very practical gift, like last year's carpet cleaner and the Christmas before was a vacuum. I feel that that allows me the time to sit and appreciate my life and be grateful for all the things that I already have rather than sitting down to receive something I really don't need. My birthday felt like any other day, which is a gift all on its own. I picked some huckleberries from our property and I made another fruit crisp. I even cooked our dinner and I did the cleanup. <laughs> okay, it's like 1.30 on Saturday. And um, Steve and I came out to the lake together. I'm at the top of the trail, at the top of the, um, where I park my truck to take supplies down to the cabin. And Steve helped me take some of the stuff down, some of the boards that I milled. A few days ago, I have water to take down, like drugs of water, tools, batteries, bolts, nuts, a bunch of supplies. And uh, take everything to the site, like to the cliff, to where the cabin is going to be, where I'm building the cabin. And originally the plan was that I was gonna be out here by myself and just staying up here and doing that. But then plans changed, Steve decided to come out. So I'm just gonna take the material there and come back up and drive down to the cabin and we're gonna spend the weekend at the cabin. Okay, so I have everything 
down here at the Sky Mule launching area. And yeah, this is so much easier to do with two people and Steve is here, but it's also really hard to manage the five dogs and the cat uh, while we're doing this kind of stuff. It's really hot and uh, yeah, I prefer if Steve just takes the pets down to the cabin and then I said, I'm like, I'll just spend a couple of hours, however long it takes, I'll just do it, do it by myself and then I'll meet you down at the cabin. So that's what is happening. I have to go down and release the load, come back up here, wheel the line back up, put another load on, put it down, hike back down, release it, and then hike back up, reel it up. So it's a process for sure, which is why it's easier with two people. I had uh, like a quarter of a bag of ketchup chips, so I am feeling good. tricky like trying to balance the load don't know what the longest length yeah I don't know what the longest length of board I've taken down before is but this is a little over 10 feet these boards and I threw this tote on top so I'm hoping seems to be it's gonna be a little bit more heavy at the back so it's gonna drag down in this first part is really steep so no matter what and the weight of it, it ends up dragging on the ground in the first bit down, so I just have to slowly release it. But, yeah, I just trial and error. So I think I'll end up doing three loads today, maybe four. I'll see how this, how this system goes. It's heavy. I might just do all the wood separately to be honest, I guess. I don't know. I'm not feeling confident in this one. I wish Steve was here because he is the sailor and he is amazing with tying things and doing knots and he could do this in a cinch. I'm not feeling very confident in myself here, but. I actually also brought the Sky Mule up more so that as I was hauling this rope up, it was wanting to pull it more upright than wanting to drag it out first, if that makes sense. Problem, the freaking spinning. The thing will spin and that's the problem. I haven't really, I haven't really properly sorted that out yet. I wonder. Oh, I'm not good at this. It's not gonna work. Come on, Michelle. I think. Oh my God, this is brutal. Yeah, whatever. So I did release it. I did like just let it let it fly for a few seconds. Um, but then usually what I do, like I'll let it go, is I just like slow this down with my hands, just so that it doesn't like crash at the bottom. It's down as far as it will go. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna take this screen pack with me, release that load. I'll take that bit of wood to this location and set everything up down there, hike back up here, reel the line back up and then do it over again.
this one is not as well balanced. I launched the third and final load for the day and then headed down to the main cabin because someone's got to cook and clean. There's the bridge that, or not bridge, but a bank that Steve built. Because there's a big rock part there and he couldn't get through it. So it was either rent a rock breaker to break it up or I was going to build something like that. So. And the track came off the machine again. Push down on it. Oh. Good. Is it on the front now? Yeah. It's on the front, yeah. You're getting to be an expert at this though now. Steve is continuing the trail building at the lake and really enjoying the little mini excavator for the job. Just in case anyone has been wondering our thoughts on it, so far it has been great and held up to any and all of the tasks Steve has put it to. While we are most often just working away on projects and fixing things, we really wanted to get Steve's little 14 foot sailboat out on the water this weekend. So I gave it a clean and we hit the water. Not bailing and losing this camera. There's like no wind. Good. <gasps> There's like no wind now. There was wind. There's no wind now. So we'll have to go back in and come back out when there's wind, obviously. It was such a calm weekend with barely a puff of wind. But lo and behold, just as we were about to leave, a little bit of wind picked up. So Steve jumped at the opportunity to set sail and away he went. <laughs> 